Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I'm ready to do my full review, pardon me, on this. This is my Rex 45 Shaman, but it is wearing the worker scales from Cerberus Knives. Real quick, I'm going to take a sip of my Mate. And you're probably wondering, if you knew you were about to film, why didn't you take a sip of your Mate before? I did it just to make you watch me drink my Mate. Flex. Just kidding. I don't know. Um, these are the worker scales on my Rex 45 Shaman. And I've been really excited to do this review. I've been excited to check these out ever since uh, Chris at Cerberus Knives first mentioned he was even up to this project to me. So I bought my worker three scales from Cerberus Knives months ago. Um, a lot of you have probably seen how that went. Um, I really like those scales. They're actually still on my pair of three right now. And I was just very intrigued by them and saw he had sets available. I purchased some and it went really well. I liked them. And Chris and I have kind of become friends since then because I shared with him the reviews I did and uh, we ended up meeting up at California Custom Knife Show and just hanging out quite a bit that day. And we've talked a few times since. We're meeting up again soon. He's become a friend. Um, I recently also reviewed his Arion prototype, uh, the knife that Artisan Cutlery is making. And so you can check that out if you're interested as well. But Chris not only makes really great knife scales, but now he has a production knife through Artisan that um, is about to be to market. So that's really, really cool. And I, I like seeing him succeed because he's a cool dude. And now that I've gotten to know him a little bit better, um, that's just cool to see. All of that being said, um, I have a relationship with Chris, and I mentioned this in my Arion review, that uh, he is totally open <laughs> to me being brutally honest as I review these products, and that is important to me. Um, so take my relationship with him in mind as I go into this, that he is a buddy, um, but part of me reviewing these products that brings value to him is that he gets feedback and he trusts me to be unfiltered. So um, I'll highlight what's good and I'll highlight what I would change. And uh, he and I have already had some conversations about a lot of these things. So it's not necessarily going to come as a big surprise to him. Uh, but overall, I really, really like these worker scales, both on my pair of three and now here on the Shaman. When he talked about to me that he was going to be doing these on the Shaman, uh, the one thing that made me most excited about them, other than already knowing I liked the profile of his scales and being kind of Strider-esque, I thought it would be really cool on a knife the size of the Shaman, um, but what made me most intrigued was the fact that he creates a new <laughs> placement for the clip. So, as you can see, I have a Lynch short deep carry clip on here. When I did the install, I put on the long one that he sent with all the hardware and all that. Um, and the way that one sat was a little bit off. But what made me most intrigued is, as you can see, this clip sits in a totally different spot from where the factory Shaman clip normally does. Oh, there are some mule deer coming down here. Hold on. Let me see if I can show you this. All right, so the mule deer are just hanging out, um, but I'm just going to keep on going because apparently they enjoy my company too. You can tell in LA people don't hunt mule deer because they are just right there. Um, anyway, so the clip placement, if this was a normal shaman, would be like down here where the clip would screw in. And so even if I look internally to the liners, it's not going to, I'm not going to be able to show you, but the where it goes in is much further down the knife. So he has created a backspacer that goes with these scales um, that has a clip relocation point. So now it goes all the way to the very butt end of the knife, which I think is really cool. As you can see, it is so deep carry. The deep carry clip actually sticks past the end of the scale. Um, if I was being real critical, which I will, <laughs> um, I would prefer it if it was not even quite that deep carry. And I'm Mr. Deep Carry's my favorite, right? Um, I want the, the clip to be flush with the butt end of the knife, and here it's beyond the edge of the knife. Now, I would take that 
10 times out of 10 over where the factory clip positioning is from Spyderco. So I think that's a good thing, but I know he may be tweaking that moving forward, so it might be slightly different. Um, one thing that I'm pretty sure he's gonna be altering as well is the angle where the clip sits. So instead of it being on this line, it will angle down in a little bit more onto the knife uh, because when you use that long one, it sits so kind of flush with the edge here and it just feels a little funky. More so than it looking funky though, what I found with that long clip and why I immediately switched it to the short one was with where that clip sat in my hand, being right on the edge of the scale, it was uncomfortable. It was a hot spot. With the short deep carry clip, it feels good in hand. I don't have any issues with this knife in hand, and the way it carries is very deep. <laughs> so I like that. Um, but yeah, that was the thing that most got me excited about having these shaman scales on my shaman was the fact that they also have a backspacer that relocates a clip that in my opinion was too far down the knife to begin with. So I like that. I don't know of any other option to move the clip other than with these scales and this backspacer. Now a lot of people do use like a really deep carry MXG clip um, on their shaman so that it does carry much deeper and, and kind of get to that actual deep carry positioning. I haven't tried that yet because I haven't put one of those clips on my shaman yet. Um, but yeah, I've been using this clip on my Shaman all along. Before these scales, it was in my um, Fireside Co. Taro Tough Seafoam scales. Um, this knife may go back into those. I may get another <laughs> Shaman for these scales to go on. I've got to send all of this hardware and everything back to Chris to go on his Shaman. But he said after I do this, I can keep the scales themselves, which is really cool and very generous of him. I wasn't expecting him to do that, but I think that means I just need to get another Shaman so I can have one worker Shaman and put the C-Rex back together. Um, anyways, I like the clip placement. That's, that's something that intrigued me from the get-go. So let's talk about how these scales affect the Ergos, the carry, um, and I mean, the cutting performance and the action will still basically be the same as my existing Shaman review. So this is really just a review of the scales themselves. Scales and backspacer, I guess, because they, they go hand in hand. But yeah, so first things first, this micarta material is really nice. I like it a lot. I love the finish on it. I like that it's like, it's OD, but it's kind of a grayish, like dark OD, and it goes well with the backspacer. I just think it looks great. I really, really like the finishing of this micarta and the way that it feels. It's a good amount of texture. It's not overly rough, but I definitely have extra purchase on this compared to like the G10 that they put on the on the Shaman from Factory is kind of a smooth G10. This has a little more texture to it, but not too much. It's definitely not too much. So I like that. Um, ergos on this knife. It, if you were going to compare this to a Strider, which many people will, I would say this is closest to the SMF because it is a big boy. Um, it's not exactly like Strider Ergos. These aren't identical to Strider scales, but they, they use a lot of the same kind of design cues. So I find myself most of the time in the forward finger choil. In the forward finger choil on this knife, it feels really, really good to me. I like it quite a bit. Um, choked back, also very comfortable, and much like Strider, where this knife shines for me now, <laughs> is in a reverse grip. My goodness, with this spot back here for my thumb to go, and the way that this knife goes in my hand in reverse grip, it's just, I love it. I find myself like making cuts in reverse grip <laughs> with this knife, just because it's so good in a reverse grip. I really, really like it. Um, the scales themselves are pretty thick, and Chris may be offering some thinner variants moving forward. Um, I also talked to him about one of the things that I would kind of change about them, uh, not major, but I would, uh, I think it's called scalloping. I would scallop the scales a little more. So like the, the factory Shaman scales, what a lot of people like about the Shaman is that it's a very rounded handle profile because they really round the edges of the G10 a lot. My Fireside Coast scales are that same way. They're very rounded. Uh, perceivably to me, uh, to the same amount that the factory scales are. Um, so these are less rounded. These feel more like a PM2 scale, although they've got less corner on them totally than a PM2, if I'm being honest. Uh, but yeah, you can see they're, they're pretty 
cornered off instead of rounded off. And so I would like to see if they could be a little bit more rounded, more like the, the angle that you find on a, a shaman scale. Not, not necessarily like, sorry about that. It is the day of little interruptions. Anyways, um, I would like to see these scales get a little bit more rounded, um, not necessarily totally to the degree that the factory scales are, but closer to that I think would be good because they do feel a little bit boxy in my hands. And one of the things that I like about the Shaman is that it, is, it does feel nice and round. But this, I don't, I'm kind of torn on it, I should say. Because part of me thinks if the scale material was a little bit thinner and it was a little bit more rounded, that it would be a little more comfortable in my hand, I assume. I haven't held it in that configuration, so I can't say for certain. Um, but this does also feel so much beefier than the typical shaman, which in some ways makes the knife more exciting to me. But I think also to some users, like I think of, pardon me, I think of my buddy Kyle from DTOM Knives and Gear. His hands are substantial <laughs> compared to mine. He has much bigger hands than I do. And for him, I bet he would prefer it thick and kind of boxy like this compared to thinner and, and rounder. So I don't know, I'm a little torn on it, but what I can say is in, in the exact configuration it's in right now, I like it a lot. Like I'm going to keep these scales, I'm going to put them on a Shaman, and I'm going to carry it a lot. I, I like it like this, and it does feel more like a different knife like this. But I would be intrigued to see if he made some a little bit thinner and a little bit rounder. Um, how I'd feel about them in hand because I I can imagine I'd probably find them a little bit more favorable for my hand at the end of the day. These are not uncomfortable, but they could get more comfortable with those tweaks, I think is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, um, I like these scales ergonomically. I like them choked back. I like them choked up. Um, in a draw cut, they actually work quite well. Um, reverse grip, as I mentioned, <sighs> so good. Um, reverse grip draw cut even works. It's just, they're, they're very, very good. Um, let's talk about carry. So this knife, it's gotten a little bit thicker and a little bit boxier. We've already established that. In pocket, I do feel it a little bit more than I did with the last scales that were on this knife. But it also has the advantage of now carrying much deeper. And this clip setup um, I don't know, I might be kind of getting converted to like not just having the clip end at the knife, but <laughs> going past it. It looks a little funky to me, which is the, the biggest gripe I have with it. But in actual use, the way I draw a knife out of my pocket, especially with a lynch clip, is I slide my thumb down this side of the knife, kind of against between my leg and the knife, right? And then I grab the bottom of the clip like this. And so I don't need to like have anything to grab onto other than the clip itself and this side of the knife. And so for going in and out of the pocket, drawing it this hasn't ruined that at all and it's kind of dope having it just like really deep in the pocket I find that it carries super well for me in that way the weight doesn't really feel like it's been affected all that much to me I bet it's I don't know a couple tenths of an ounce heavier than it was with those Fireside Co. scales on it, but it's a negligible difference. This isn't a light knife to begin with. It's a sizable, fairly robust knife. Um, so yeah, it carries well. It's, it's not quite as good as it did in terms of the feel of it actually in pocket with the Fireside Co. scales on it because those were slimmer and, and rounder, but the clip placement is better. So it's a catch-22 there. Um, yeah, what else is there really? I mean, the, the performance of the knife itself, it's still my Rex 45 Shaman blade, and I still interface with the blade largely the same. The ergos change a little bit, for sure, like in terms of where my hand actually goes and all that. And reverse grip, it's better to cut with now than it was before. Um, and it's, it, it does well in these scales. All the cutting I've done with it, I've never found myself like oh, this isn't as good as it was before. In fact, I kind of feel like in a couple of ways it almost improves upon the way I interface with it, especially for hard use. For EDC cutting tasks, no difference. <laughs> um, like if I'm just opening a box with it, with these scales on it compared to the factory scales or the fireside scales, I don't feel any of them give me a performance advantage. But out here, places like this, 
the way this knife ergonomically goes in hand, I do think these are a little bit more suited to it. It just feels a little bit more substantial in hand and indexed a little bit better. And uh, yeah, I like them for as an outdoor hard use folder. I think these scales kind of are the way to go. Um, yeah, I guess that's really it. I like these scales. Those deer are really pushing a lot of stuff down that hillside. Um, and they're just staring at me every time I talk about them. Anyways, I really like these scales. I think they look sweet. I think they work really well. They are super well made. If you've watched the install video, you'll see the ease with which I was able to put these, to put this knife together. Um, the way all the components that are factory fit into the scales. Um, it's just, it's excellent. It goes together really, really well. And it's a great knife with these scales on it. I love the Shaman. Um, if you, if, you can watch my Shaman review, or I've got a head-to-head -head between the Shaman and the PM2. There are a lot of things about the Shaman that I love, and there will, I can pretty confidently say, always be a Shaman in my collection. Um, but this makes me want to have two Shamans, because this is like, I don't know, it's almost like there's a Shaman 2. <laughs> like, it's a, it's different enough that it kind of feels like a whole new knife, but it still has all the things I love about the Shaman. The action, the... Uh, the cutting performance, the blade profile, the kind of heft of it, um, the compression lock, all of it is what I want out of my Shaman. It's just now a different shape and it feels different and that's fun to me. So I really, really like these scales. Um, I'm curious to see, I think he will be making a couple of updates, like I said, that clip orientation and all that. Um, so maybe as I'm hanging out with Chris moving forward and seeing some of those updates, I may do an update eventually if there's a new variant of these or something like that um, but even just like this this set that i have if you can find a set um i know they kind of come and go at the moment but if you can find some i absolutely recommend them especially if you're into beefier knives if the shaman is already pushing the boundaries for you on size <laughs> and like pocketability and weight and all that then maybe not but if you're someone who likes big knives who likes hefty knives capable knives in places like this and then I think these these will make a lot of people happy and uh, you could also I think just probably run a factory clip on here in this position if you didn't want to go the deep carry route um, although with this clip it works great <laughs> yeah the more I've carried and used it with this clip I would say that the Lynch deep carry clip is the way to go um, but I know Chris has irons in the fire so there may be some updates soon Anyway, thanks for checking it out, guys. Appreciate it, as always. And uh, thanks to Chris from Cerberus Knives for not just loaning me these, which was originally how it was going, but for giving me these scales. That's really, really cool of him. Um, so I'll be linking to Cerberus Knives down below. Check him out. Um, he's always up to some cool stuff. So uh, he's also just getting started. Um, there, he's been putting out a lot of really cool things and every conversation I have with him, he's somebody who has a lot of ideas and he's somebody who applies those ideas. So a lot of them are becoming realities at a pretty quick rate and uh, I'm glad to call him a friend at this point. So he'll be linked down below. I appreciate it as always guys. And uh, you can watch me have another sip of mate now. Thanks everyone. Say bye to the mule deer. <laughs> Talk to you later.